Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be vlogging a day in my life. I'm just about to go on a walk with my mom. If you've been following me on my Instagram, you know I've been loving my morning walks. Today I'm gonna be doing my longer route, which is about like eight kilometers. So I'll talk to you guys afterwards and it's nice to be back. I got back from my walk and I showered and I made my breakfast before. So I just had some lemon water and now I'm gonna go have my coconut bowl is just coconut yogurt and fruit. Just need to grab some things. Turning these jeans because I ordered the wrong ones from Zara. So I'm going to Yorkdale today, which is like one of the bigger shopping centers here in Toronto. And I'm going with my mom and my sister mainly because my sister is getting her, well, hopefully getting shoes for her wedding. Yeah. And then I'm also going to Sephora and getting the hydrofacial. Right now at Sephora, you can get a hydrofacial, which is like the one where like they take the thing to your skin and then you see all the dirt like in the water. And you can get it for like spending 75, at least $75 on products. And that's like cheaper than my facials normally are and I get product. So I can get like the stuff that she uses on me if I want. So this has been my go-to breakfast or just like fruit, but it's just the silk unsweetened vanilla coconut yogurt with strawberries, banana, blueberries, medjool date syrup, and some cinnamon. The medjool date syrup I use is just this one. There's no added sugars or anything. It's super clean, but I'm gonna go eat this and then I'll see you guys when I'm at Sephora. I just got home from Yorkdale. I was gonna film in Sephora, but I just wanted to respect the privacy of the girl that was doing my facials. But basically I got the hydrofacial and I really liked it. And the whole thing is that you had to spend $75 to get the facial. So I just picked up some things. I've been wanting a jade roller, so I got the herbivore jade roller. Really liked it, she used it on me. And then I've been needing a new all over face powder, so I just got the Hourglass Ambient like Bronzing Powder. Just got this. And then I had some points and I liked what they had for the 500 point reward, so I just got this Briogeo. Briogeo? B R I O G E O, Brio I I don't know. This little like hair kit. And they gave me a little sample of the CEO Glow Sunday Riley face oil, which I've been dying to try out. So I'm going to use that with my new face roller. But I really like how my skin looks. They were really helpful of like anything that I had with my skin. So sensitivity, combination skin redness dark circles and puffiness and she put on the drunk elephant depollution illuminator like tanning stuff on which i really liked but i'm currently like bare face like no ooh, no mascara i'm just gonna go put some on it's like the one thing that i don't like leaving the house with is mascara just like i've always had like smaller eyes and i feel like my eyes look even smaller without it so i like wearing that oh i also ran out of my vanilla matcha so i just picked some up from davis tea and since i know i like it now i just got a little tub but i like it and it's super clean ingredients just coconut nectar matcha green tea natural vanilla flavoring and that's literally it super clean like barely any sugar it's so good so I just like mixing this with a little bit of water and then some almond milk and I like it iced. I have made it hot once, but it's like warmer out now. So definitely making it iced this summer. Preferring matcha over coffee right now, just I feel like you don't get like a caffeine crash from it and it's like a lot more gradual. So that's what's going on. I go to Whole Foods because I really have been wanting to go to Whole Foods. And I just, I thought there was only one like in Toronto where like parking is a mesh. But I remember that there's one in Markham, like Unionville, which is like not too far from where I live. So, and there's parking there because it's like suburbs. So I'm gonna go there and see if 
they have the Yai's Thai curry sauce that I've been searching for everywhere because my local grocery store is completely sold out of it. I think I bought the last one and they have it restocked. So I'm gonna go there and I'll take you along with me. So I'm in the car now and I'm just gonna head over to Whole Foods. I'm really excited. Haven't really been to Whole Foods before and I've been dying to go because Maggie's always posting that she's there and like all the YouTubers I watch always go to Whole Foods. Things kind of bad, I'm sorry guys. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to go to Whole Foods. I put my mascara on. Um, I don't really have a dash, but let's try do a drive with me. I'm scared my camera's gonna fall. <laughs> It was really good and like my skin's so glowy and I kind of wish I got that drunk elephant um, The deep pollution bronzing cream thing because I love how my skin looks and I don't know if it's because it's like all this cool serums that the girl used on me but my skin just looks so good and I have no face makeup on and like I mean like I don't really have bad skin to be honest, like I only got a few breakouts like right before my period, which is like now. So I have some on my chin, which is really annoying. And I got a lip pimple, like give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if you agree lip pimples are the worst pimples to get because I feel like they're the most noticeable. Like if you have a pimple on your forehead, like everyone gets pimples on their forehead like all the time. But like when it's on your lip, like it's always like right on your lip and one they're super painful and two like I don't know I feel like they always get white heads like they're never just like a little red dot like they're always just like these huge like monstrous pimples and like I woke up yesterday with one and it was just massive and I popped it which isn't the really the best thing to do because then they scar and I've had, I used to get lip pimples all the time. I think from like the lip balm that I was using, it used to clog my pores really bad. So I haven't really had that many lately or like I'll get like little bumps like around my lips, which are just super annoying. Like I'm always like super insecure about that. Like does anyone else experience that? Like I hope I'm really not alone on this, but Anyways, I definitely recommend that facial, like $75 for a facial, like you just only have to spend $75. It doesn't have to be on only skincare products. You can get makeup. This is not sponsored by Sephora. I don't think any video, I don't even have enough subscribers to be sponsored by Sephora. Um, but that would be awesome, Sephora, if you're watching this, like definitely subscribe me, um, sponsor me. I love your stuff. <laughs> Self promo, self plug. Um, but you only have to spend $75 for a hydrofacial, and like the hydrofacial at like my um, hair salon, they also have a spa, is like over $110, and like my normal facial is like normally like 80 or 90. So, like, this is great because like it's $75 and you get $75, it's like you're getting product too, you're not just paying for the facial. So, it's great and like the only thing that's kind of weirded out about is that it's in store so it's not like when you go to like a spa or like a beautician or esthetician or like a space um that does like actual like facials you're like normally like in a room and like i get like wrapped in a towel like so it's like in the store so i was a little skeptical about that but to be honest like it was honestly really good it would def do it again. So I'm parked outside Whole Foods. So I'm outside Whole Foods. I'm just parked and I'm gonna head inside. I'm gonna bring the camera, but I don't know if I'll film. I'll try though. I'll be confident, act confident, and no one will question you. Okay, bye guys. I'm in Whole Foods and 
I'll just show you some of the things that I picked up. So I got some zucchini noodles, some organic chopped kale, strawberries, and blueberries. Just getting some um, garbanzo beans. So my biggest tip with this is making sure that there's no added salt because so many times in like canned food, they add salt and it's just not necessary. Um, so that's what I got. I also wanted to get lentils. I'm gonna see if they have like the pre seed ones, but I'll be right back. So I decided to pick up some lunch while I was here. I just got a little box of everything. I'm just gonna eat outside and then head home. Hey guys, so I'm back in the car after Whole Foods. I decided to pick up some lunch there. I decided that I'm really bad at, oh shush. I'm really bad at making salads in salad bars but it was still pretty good. So I wanna know if any of you work at Whole Foods or know why. Why does Whole Foods, the whole store that's based around being organic, et cetera, and healthy, have freaking canola oil in every single product, like in the hot food bar. It's all canola oil, except for a few things, but majority of the things that I wanted, like some salads that I was interested in, were made with freaking canola oil so I couldn't have it because it's not good for you and I try to avoid that. Or they added sugar, like I really wanted this teriyaki tofu because it looked really good but there was cane sugar and canola oil in it and I just didn't want that crap in my body, you know? Let's pray the camera doesn't move. Don't move the camera, don't do it. Oh my God. Pro vlog and drive. Dad, if you're watching this, don't be mad at me. I'm not touching it. Both my hands are on the wheel. We're focused. We'll do a little grocery haul when I get home. I always feel like I'm nobody. Who wants to fit in with everybody? Who wants to fit in with everybody? Let's do a little grocery haul for you guys. I just picked up some things that I needed. My parents do most of the grocery shopping, but anything that's like more specific that I know they won't be able to find or I don't want to be annoying about all going get myself. I just got these Mary's Super Seed crackers. They're really good and clean. Some garbanzo beans, strawberries, chopped kale. I like having this in like bowls and stuff. Zucchini, I got two things of zucchini spirals, my favorite veggie burgers, the black rice burger and the zuki bean burger are my favorite. Some blueberries, this really good vegan pesto. I really like the basil flavor. The ingredients are super clean. It's just sunflower oil, if it wants to focus, sunflower oil, basil, sunflower seeds, sea salt, garlic, and citric acid. I like how it doesn't have canola oil in it. So that's really good. I got the Rios and I'm trying their Arbit. I don't know how to say that. I'm trying this one this time. I got the marinara one last time, but I wanted to try this one because I was told this one's really good too. And then I've had this bar before, but I wanted to try another one of their bars. So they're cane sugar free. It's sweetened with coconut sugar. And this one is just the sea salt and almonds one. And the ingredients on both of them are really clean. It's just cocoa, nut sugar, cocoa butter, and vanilla. And then this one is the same, but it also has sea salt and almonds. Super yum. So those are just some of the things I got from Whole Foods. I'm probably gonna end the vlog off here, but I'm gonna be posting a lot more often. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up as it helps support my channel. And definitely hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Insta. It's at LaneyBFit. I post on there every day. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Love ya.